Jackie Sherry and I work with the athens Clark County Public Utilities Department, specifically with water conservation, but more on water conservation in a little bit. Today, I want to talk to you about water. Think about the way that you have used water today. I'll give you a few seconds to think through some of the ways that you have used water. Personally, I have flushed a toilet, I have taken a shower, I've brushed my teeth, I did a load of laundry, I've made coffee, I've cooked noodles, lots of different things in our everyday life require water. But have you ever stopped to think about where that water comes from when it comes out of your tap? Where does that water come from? Well, guess what? We're going to find out today. Thanks. Here is our globe. Looking at our globe, you'll see there's lots of colors and we're going to talk about what these colors mean today. But first I want you to notice all the blue and the green. The blue and the green typically represent our water that's on our earth and our land that's on our earth. Do you see more blue or more green? Definitely more blue, meaning that there's more water on our earth than land. Our planet is 71% water and 29% land. Sounds like we have a lot of water on Earth. In fact, we do. We have 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. Let's pretend that all of this blue water right here is all the water that is on our Earth. That is a thousand milliliters. And again, we're going to pretend that this represents all the water that is on our earth. Now, looking at, thanks, our globe again, a lot of the water that's found on our earth is found in the oceans. And I don't know about you, but have you accidentally drank some ocean water before? I have, and it tastes pretty salty because that water is salt water and not fresh water. 97% of water is salt water, and only 3% is what we consider fresh water. All right, so this represents all the water on Earth, but let's separate out the salt water from the fresh water. So I'm going to take 3% of all the water and pour it into here to represent our fresh water. Let's see, a little bit more. There we go. This represents our fresh water that we have on Earth. This represents the salt water that we have on Earth. So, gotta add some salt. All right, so we've got our salt water and we've got our fresh water. But thinking of all the ways that we use water, even all of this is not available to us for our drinking, for our showering, for our brushing our teeth, for cooking, for cleaning because a lot of this water is actually what we call frozen water. Looking back at our globe on the top here and on the bottom, there are lots of glaciers and ice caps where fresh water is stored, but it's in a frozen form. And that's not available to here to us in Athens, Georgia. So we need to separate out the frozen water from the non-frozen fresh water. The fresh water on Earth can either be frozen or not frozen. About 80% of the fresh water is frozen and 20% is not frozen. So now it's time to separate out our frozen fresh water from our non-frozen fresh water. So I'm going to pour the non-frozen fresh water into this smaller cylinder. a little too much. Perfect. This represents our frozen fresh water. So I'm going to put it in this bucket of ice to help us remember that this water is frozen, it is in our glaciers, and it is in our ice caps, and it's not available to us here in Georgia for drinking. This is our non-frozen fresh water. But even some of this water is still not available for us to use for our drinking water purposes. 
a lot of this water is either deep underground or it is up in the clouds and the atmosphere. Yes, clouds are made of water. This is our non-frozen fresh water. And again, a lot of this is deep underground or up in the atmosphere. Really, there's only a small amount that is what we call surface water. Surface water is our rivers, our lakes, creeks, ponds, streams. Those are what we use for drinking water sources here in Athens. This drop, and I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see. This drop in the bucket, now be quiet, we're gonna see if we can hear it. is what is available to us for drinking water. So here is a summary of all the water on earth and where it is distributed. And as you can see, it's 0.003% is our usable fresh water. Speaking of usable water, does anyone know where we get our drinking water from here in Athens Clark County? It's three types of surface water, which we were talking about just a little bit earlier. Any ideas what those three surface waters are? All right, let's go take a look. The water for athens Clark County comes from three sources, the North Oconee River, the Middle Oconee River, and the Bear Creek Reservoir. We hope that you will do your part in helping us to conserve our clean, fresh drinking water. Here's a few good tips on saving water. Look for the WaterSense logo and tell your parents to switch to WaterSense labeled fixtures and appliances. Take a five minute long shower, you can do it. Turn off the water when brushing your teeth. Turn it on only when you really need it. Listen to your parents, turn off the lights when you leave a room. Yes, saving electricity saves water. Remember, water is a precious natural resource we all need to survive. Please don't waste water. Do your part and conserve every drop you can whenever you can. Thanks for watching and remember to use water wisely. For more water conservation tips, visit thinkatthesink.com.